Well, hey everybody, it's Paul. Welcome to my channel. I just got back a little while ago from house hunting. It is a long and drawn out process. I'll tell you, I've learned one thing. Every house has some pluses and everyone has some minuses, some negatives. And there is no perfect place. So I've been going from place to place to place, trying to evaluate which would be the best, you know. But... I have been asked over and over again, why would I want to move? You know, I really like where I'm at. I love the house. I love the lake. I love the, everything about it. The only thing I don't love is the winters. The winters are so long. So if somebody asked me, you know, for just one word of why I would want to move, it would be the cold weather is just impossible the winters go on forever it's like you get up around january you know it's like you can take the winter up until christmas and the holidays aren't so bad but then you get in january and january drags on and then it goes into february and february is still cold and i'm watching videos and all my buddies are out mal detecting and out being able to do stuff and i'm still like locked in we're still like in some zero degree weather, 10 degree weather, 20 degrees. Like I can take weather that is 30 degrees. No problem. That's not bad. You can still be out a little, but when you get under freezing, it just gets miserable. And I got to be honest, it's hard to believe. I know from looking at me, but I am getting older <laughs> day by day, week by week. It's like the older you seem to get, the least I can take the cold. I just cannot take it anymore. It, it seems like the older I get, the colder the cold I've been feels. wanting to go to warmer climes. And, you know, I've been debating where, and I've been going down and trying out different places. It's like, okay, a lot of folks that live here, all my neighbors are snowbirds. They go down to Florida for the winter. Well, that's great. But the old guy's cheap and poor, and I can't afford having two places, you know. I don't want to have to go back and forth and pay to upkeep, you know, two different properties. I've been thinking going midway down, you know. Florida is just too hot, and then you get gators. So I, I, I'm looking for a place with no gators, but that isn't as brutally cold that's a little bit more mild, that would give me longer springs and longer falls, you know. That's the problem. It's like Michigan, you have winter, and then you go straight into summer for about three months, and then it's right back in the winter. You get like a week of spring and a week of fall. So I went down south. I tried a couple different places. Um, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia. And I found a nice place in Virginia called Smith Mountain Lake. It's a, it's a nice size lake, you know. And the people are really nice there. And it just seems like a nice spot. So that is my game plan. So then you say, okay, well, just sell your house and move. Well, the thing is... I need to make a move in between. That's the only thing I can think of. I need to move all my crap from this house somewheres and then fix up this house. I mean, I've been in here, say, 10 years. So, um, you know, it needs a coat of paint. Um, some trim work needs to be just, you know, spruced up in other words. There's nothing serious that needs to be done. It's just cosmetic, bringing, freshening it up, you know. So what I wanted to do was just originally I was going to find a cheap place to kind of like move my stuff because I still got stuff in storage. I, I store my boat, my jet ski, you know, in the winter. Even in the summer, I store the trailers I've got a utility trailer um, from when I had the other property that I pulled my John Deere zero turn I still have. So it's like I got a bunch of stuff. So if I could find a place, I could pull all my stuff out of storage. 
and store my boats, store all the toys over there, and that's going to save quite a bit of money right there. Um, so I'm looking, you know, I've been looking for a place that's figure at least going to be half as much of this. I can store all my stuff over there, get this place ready to sell, get it spruced up. I know it's convoluted, trust me, I know, and I, it's like I have racked my brain trying to think of every other way, but it's like the easy solution, you'd say, well, okay, fix the stuff up one room, fix the house up one room at a time, you know, move all the stuff out of there, paint. Truth of the matter is, it's just like me and the kids, I just don't see how... You go in these people's houses, and it's immaculate, and they're living in there, and I just don't see us ever being able to do that. I mean, not that we're totally pigs, but I mean, you know, you're going to hear people like calling up saying, hey, I want to come see the house in an hour, and it's going to be high stress. I mean, that's never going to work. So it's like, we got to get our crap out of here. We got to get out of here. I mean, personally, me, I don't like going to see... And I would rather buy somebody's house that is empty than somebody when they're in there. And, and maybe other people aren't that way. But that's just for me, it's kind of like a, eh, kind of a feeling when you're going in somebody's house, you know, and they just cleared out an hour ago and they got all their stuff, to, even though it's neat. It's just, eh, you know. So I think the house will show better. I think it will be better it will sell better with our stuff out of it and i really need to sell here before i can do much down there as far as um i can't afford to build a new house and have this house and the third house <laughs> you know i mean it, it gets kind of crazy but so anyway i've been rambling on forever but i promised that i would make this video and i hope it kind of I know you're probably thinking this is more convoluted than ever, and it is. But at least it makes for some interesting content, hopefully, in the future. So that's the way it is, guys. I appreciate you tuning in. I appreciate your support. Until next time, we'll see you.